All right, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today, we're going to be playing some high-level 2v2s with Voltero. I'm SSL in every single game mode right now, except for once. Ignore that. Um, I just de-ranked yesterday, unfortunately, uh, while I was recording. But we're SSL in 2v2, 1882. We're going to try to climb to 1900 today. If we win three times, we should be able to get that. So we'll see you on game number one. Game number one, playing against Nick, Dave, Vic, and RL Dre. Let's get into it. Alright, he should be able to take that corner boost, and then I'll play the mid here. Just wait on his touch. He didn't get the best takeoff. Almost make something happen out of it. I'm gonna take this back to the other corner. Uh, because I know that Nick Dave Vic was approaching on the other side. And I just didn't want that. Oh, dude, I almost got the musty. Unfortunate. Not quite a good enough setup to actually get a good flick there. Take a 50 there, but I'm not actually gonna commit my flip to it. Uh, I'm literally just taking a 50 just to see you know maybe it'll pop out but i don't want to actually commit my car uh and my momentum to like the win because i'm not sure if i'm gonna win the 50 or not and if i lose the 50 then it, it'd be really really bad in that situation i was kind of hoping voltero would recognize that he had a free shot there um but i think he thought that i was gonna go for it um so he didn't go which is which is fair it's hard to know especially when you're not in voice comms like because uh, my car was also angled towards the ball. So honestly, it was completely fair that he thought I was going to go for it. I'm a little awkward here. But so is Voltero, because he's getting demoed. Alright. I don't know why people put, like, parentheses new controller in their names. Like, what? I mean, I guess he doesn't have the parentheses, but... But still, like... I don't understand why people do that. It doesn't make any sense to me. Like, if I get a new controller, like... Who cares? <laughs> you know what I mean? I just kind of play. Voltero? I saved, dude. Stay on it. Nice. I was going for a Cuxer there, but... Cuxer, Cuxer, whatever. You guys know what I mean. Try to just... Double? Uh, I couldn't get it. I don't think I could have had the angle there, although maybe I could have gone for a flip reset and scored it that way. I just didn't really think about it in time. That's gonna be fine. Fake that. Voltero should be able to shoot this. I bumped him. Unless Nick just gets a crazy recovery. Yeah. Yes. It went for it went for an air dribble too. So it, that makes it really, really difficult. I'm not sure how that's not a demo there, but um, I, I guess I just wasn't moving fast enough. I don't know. I thought I hit him pretty solidly though. I'm just going to go back. He's already up, so he's not going to have much other than a strong touch to the backboard. Uh, I know that I can defend that if I have full boost. Oh, okay, that's a demo. Yeah, certainly. And Voltero scores. Nice. I don't even know how that happened, but I'll take it. I guess Voltero got the mid boost, I think, so he knew he could follow that up, and then he just... Oh, he dunked him. Nice. Well played, Voltero. Alright, I'll cheat up here. Two and a half minutes left. Also, if you guys see me looking up at my, uh second monitor it's because rlcs is playing right now and i'm watching falcons versus crew esports uh like i want to be watching rlcs right now however i do also have to record like so many videos before i leave for europe that i just i don't have time <laughs> uh shot ah, careful that's all good that's all good that's a tough uh tough read i got such a bad clear out there um that happens. Alright. Okay. Got the beat there. Uh, that's no good, though. I missed the back boost, so now... Oh, never mind. I was gonna say, now we'll both be starved, but... Um, I actually was able to get the other corner. Okay, that should be fine. Okay. I saw for, like, a split second that Nick Davick was actually pretty far back there. So I knew I didn't have to rush that. Um, Try to take a pinch there. Uh, just to beat him, because I knew that he was pre-jumping it as well. Take a 50. That's not in, right? No, we're good. we're good. I'll wait on this, see if he wants to get one more high. Um, that's close. <gasps> oh, couldn't shoot it. Okay, wait. Voltero can shoot that. Nice. Good save from Nick, but... I'm just going to turn and shoot this immediately. See if it maybe catches him off guard. It doesn't. It's okay. I'll get back here. Let Voltero go. 
That's not in, right? Oh my god, I'm so good at this game. Try to shoot that over him. I didn't have enough boost or momentum to actually get a powerful enough shot to go over him there. Ah, uh, he went for the demo. That's a smart play. Hopefully Volterra can get a good 50. He does. Perfect. Alright, just take another 50 there. Nick's not going to have a lot of boost here. Let's go for the demo on him. Uh, I got it. Nice, we're good. Probably shouldn't have pre-jumped that. Uh, and I also probably should have been positioned a little bit back, farther back post. Uh, but it works out, either way. You know, I, I used the flip and I recovered, so... Just gonna hit that off the corner. He might have a touch here, but again, it's... I mean, we have 20 seconds left and we have a one goal lead, so we don't have to do anything crazy. Uh, mostly just a matter of, you know, stalling out time, second by second. Also, uh, if, if you guys are wondering, Crew Esports just lost, which is very sad. I wanted to see them beat the Falcons. I don't know why, I, I rate them very highly. Uh, out of all the South American teams, I like Crew Esports a lot. GG though, we'll go right into game number two. I'll see you all then. Game number two, looks like it's just a rematch. Let's get it. If we win this, I think I might be uh, 1900 again, which is good. I was 1900 at literally the start of this session and then I won one and then I lost like three. So, oh my God, that's disgusting. That should not have worked out like it did. But, I'll, I'll, I mean, I'll take it. That's so dumb, though. <laughs> Just bounced over the last guy. Alright, cheat up here. I'm not going to use a lot of boost because I don't know... Oh, where the kickoff's going. 50? It's a good use of the flip reset there. Um, considering how I got it. I mean, if you get the flip reset and you're in a position where you can shoot the ball with the flip reset... Like, yeah, you probably should. Well, in, in most cases. But, like, I wasn't in a position where I could actually shoot the ball with the flip reset. So, using it to actually take a 50 and maybe have the ball pop out mid to your teammate. Not the worst idea. Or even just saving the flip to have a wave dash when you land and recover faster. Again, also not the worst idea. That is a crazy cheat up from Nick. The kickoff was good, too. It's just that he was so ridiculously close that he just absolutely barreled through Voltaro. Alright, let me try that. Okay. Dude, the, the close cheat off there actually like helped out because it made it so that Nick wasn't able to react to where my car was. Because of how close I was. Alright, try to demo him. He can't do anything here unless Voltaro lets him. Voltaro has to challenge that. Like, when, when the ball bounces right... Right here... Well, Terrace challenge right there. He can't let the ball bounce, and he can't let Nick take a shot. Nick's not going to be able to do anything. He said, heart and purge ruined me. Uh, Nick's not going to be able to do anything with that ball. Like, that low. He's not going to be able to do anything or take a shot besides, like, what he did. So, Voltaire just needs to recognize that and cover that. That's alright, though. Uh, I'm going to wait. Hopefully, he can just recover for me. Maybe just send the ball back. Nah. Okay, that should be fine. Take this boost. Unfortunately, I just had to use a lot of boost there to get the ball quite literally nowhere. So I have to musty it if I want to get any sort of uh, power on the touch. Let's take a 50 there. Again, once you recognize that the ball is far enough away from the opponent's car that they can't really affect it, that's when you want to challenge. Uh, that is the perfect time to challenge. No sooner and no later. Uh, but as soon as you recognize that they're not going to be able to make any more touches on the ball, you know, like, like if they go over the ball or something right that, like that, right? You know that they're only going to be able to touch the ball down. So if you challenge the ball covering that downwards touch, you know, you'll be fine. Same thing like if they go under the ball and you don't think they're going to be able to scoop it anymore, um, then you challenge high or, or you challenge the ball I, I don't really know like it's hard to explain but basically if you know that they can't touch the ball and impact it then you can challenge the ball obviously because uh you you know where the ball is going at that point i'll just force this i'm not even gonna jump for the challenge because i know that he's either forced to hit it over me or he's gonna get demoed uh and he knows that too astral pinch oh wait that was actually like almost online Hold on. I'm Astral, bro. 
Uh, I gotta wait on that. I'm just gonna hover. Uh, he went over. Yeah, it's tough. That's tough. No problem. No problem. That's kind of a giveaway touch from Voltero, so... If he's gonna touch it like that, he's gotta, um... Think about, like... Trying to bang it and trying to make sure it doesn't go straight back to them. I can't get it, dude. I can't get it. That kickoff is so brutal. It just went straight over me. I could have... I maybe could have double jumped and saved that, but I, like, air rolled instead of just trusting myself. So that's unfortunate. Shot? Nice. Okay, GG. I don't... GG. I, I don't know why I keep saying that. I've been doing that recently, but... No, not GG. But it, it's good. It's a good shot. I'm happy that he scored it. <laughs> I'm low boost here, so this is going to be very tough. Oh, I can't get it, dude. I'm just zero boost, and because he has the, the possession, like, it's it's very difficult for me to challenge that there. Although I could have played a little bit more patient rather than pre-jumping. Um, it's just so tough. To be put in that 1v1 situation, like, right off the kickoff is just brutal. I'm just going to hit that off the wall. He's super awkward. No, still got the save. Just gonna wait on that there. Okay. Dude, these guys just ape the ball. I'm just gonna play for the no Voltero, go backboard! Voltero, go backboard! I'm I'm forcing the ball high there. So he, I mean thankfully it didn't get us scored on either way, but he needs to know that. Voltero's a good player, like I I, I'm being critical on him because I think that he's a phenomenal player, right? And the mistakes he's making today just don't seem like him to me, you know? Um, but I think he's a phenomenal, phenomenal player. I can't get that, dude. Ah, uh, that's so tough. That's such a good, like, shot. I thought it was on target. I should have just covered the net there instead of trying to read the corner and then backing off of it though. That like hesitation just screwed us. He's gonna shoot that on target and then try to take their corner. I got the corner from him and he gave the ball away. Nice. We're back in it. Six to six in a twos game with a minute left is crazy. I'm not gonna lie. All right, let's go. that to the side. I'm gonna take this back boost here. Nice. Oh, I couldn't quite turn and, and get the angle on that, but Voltero can. There we go. Perfect. Great follow-up from him. I saved my flip for as long as I possibly could there. I think like one more millisecond. I don't have the flip anymore there, and I just go flying past the ball, um, but I'm glad that that worked out. I'm gonna fake this. Okay. He went. He doesn't have boost here. So he gets that hard touch. I mean, he can't really do anything past that. He can chase it, but he's not actually going to be able to touch it. Take a 50 there. Voltaire should be able to get that corner. I'm going to use a bunch of boost just to get the, the mid boost and give myself a little bit of momentum rather than like rotating back. It does a couple of things there. So if I steal the mid boost and one of them is like trying to half rotate, uh, you know, to get mid boost and then go back into the play. Well, if, if I took that mid boost, then they're not going to be able to do that. So that relieves a little bit of pressure. But also, like, you know, it's it's an easy way to get full boost, especially when you trust your teammate that's on defense. He's going to have a touch there, so it's better to not dive in. Uh, he's going to take that corner. Nice. Got a fake. Tried to sit it around. No, I couldn't get it. That's all right, though. He's not going to have a ton of boost. So Volterra should be able to get that over. I'm just going to sit here. Hopefully he takes a 50. Got it. Nice. Easy. Easy. GG. All right. We'll get right into game number three. I'll see you all then. All right. Getting into game number three. Playing against Melodic and Kazi. Uh, looks like he's already going for the uh, back boost. Let me just take a shot there. Voltaire should have a better angle on that than I do. Unfortunately, he doesn't get the best touch. Should be all right, though. I'm just going to uh, fake this and take his boost. You know, because if he wanted that, now he's really sad, and he's going to be, like, crying. And then he won't be able to focus on playing the game. I'm going for a sidewall. No way he's up for that, dude. What? That is a crazy challenge. Like, the 
the odds of me actually hitting a, a good shot there are so low that it's almost not even worth committing the boost to make that challenge, which is why I was surprised that he was up. Shoot, that was a bad control. I could have let Voltero take that one for sure. Um, wait on that touch. He's gonna beat me there. All right, cause he's not even there. So I know I can pop that up to Voltero. Maybe see if he wants to pass it across. Oh God, that was an open net. Wait on his touch again. Try to skim that upfield, but uh, Melodic just got a good challenge. All right, I'll follow this up. I'm not gonna commit myself to anything here, like unless I see a 100% opportunity to challenge the ball, which I did. Uh, I knew that he wasn't, like, the only thing he was going to be able to do with that takeoff was accelerate the ball up, like, where it was already moving. So, as long as I put myself in the path of that, like, hit, then there's not really any way he gets it around me. Alright. Should be fine here, although I have zero boost, so I can't really commit to that. Although I can just take this. I'm just going to try to keep this close here, and maybe force him to, to take a 50. I took a 50, but... It's not really going to do anything for them. Alright. Fake this. Voltero, careful. He's got to jump for that. He just cheated up a little bit too far. Um, and as second man, like, he needs to be worried about the net. Not worried about, like, covering. Or not worried about pushing it up the field. Just bumped him. Should be a free ball for Voltero. Nice shot. Double that? Kaz is going to have a touch. I don't have any boost. Just going to hit that over to him. Hit that over to him again. He should have a little bit of space. Decides to rush it, which is fine, because Kazi threw in a fake challenge. I got no boost, though, dude. I feel like I've had no boost all game. Wait on that. Okay, I can fake that as well, because I know Melodic's going to go. Voltero should be able to get that. Oh, God. I meant like he should be able to get it before Melodic was touching it, but once he touched it, I thought it was over Voltero for sure. Melodic's like a very like ball chasey player, um, but it works out because he's very mechanical as well. Like, he he likes to go for very, very mechanical things. Um, and it works out sometimes because he is a very skilled player, mechanically. Um, but a lot of the times it just ends up putting him out of position and making his teammate, like, awkward. I'm gonna wait on the touch. Try to take a 50 there. Take this full boost, maybe, go for a demo chase. Slowed myself down a little bit there, just to make sure I didn't miss him. Because getting the bump is better than going for the demo and missing it. Uh, Alright, I'm gonna just take that full boost. You know, like, something is better than nothing when it comes to bumping the other team. Uh, click it over. Should be in, right? Uh, Voltero? Nah, we're good. I knew that was in 100% of the time. Didn't even didn't even worry about it. Uh, but I saw him turning for the challenge, so I figured I would just flick it. And then, worst case scenario, it goes over the net. And then uh, Voltero has the has the challenge. Uh, close. Could have probably shot that in, but Voltero follows it up anyways. So well played. Good kickoff from him as well. He just completely won it over the top, and because I get the flip reset, Melodic's got a challenge, and... Alright, can't wait till we play someone good. What does that mean? Is Voltero talking smack on the opponents? Didn't we only win one of the games by, like, one goal? <laughs> Alright, I'll wait on this touch. Try to take a 50. A little awkward. Let's take this, these pads, and Voltero should be able to get that. I'll let him go. Hopefully he can just stay on it and take a 50. Then I'm just gonna pop that over. I'm not gonna try to air roll there like I did uh, last game. You know, I don't know if you guys remember that or not, but I, I tried to air roll like while I was moving backwards into the net uh, and it just ended up making me miss the ball entirely. So as good as I am and as comfortable as, as I am with air roll, there are some times where I will just straight up like, my brain will just malfunction. I can't get that. That's a good shot. Yeah, that's gonna be a goal. 
what a save. Oh, man. No, he's quick chatting me. My feelings. Oh, man. All right, I'm going to wait on the touch here. I'm actually just going to shoot that. Whoa, ground pinch. Oh, wow. What a what a read. Uh, Voltero? Okay. Oh, I can't get it. Uh-oh. This isn't good. This is not how we wanted to do things. Oh, dude. That's so bad. That's so bad from both of us. I mean, Voltero probably shouldn't have touched it that high, but I also probably shouldn't have dove for a ball that I couldn't. Coconut, you're the weak link, buddy. Okay. Savage. <laughs> uh, I'll wait on this. Should be fine. Yeah. It's gonna be a lot harder for him to get it under me and then scoop it up than it is for him to get it over me and, and just go straight in, so... Take the full boost too. Try to go for a sidewall. Okay. He's gonna have that. Try to get a demo on him. I can't get it. He's gonna have a controlled play here. Voltaire can go. Nice. Just gonna wait on the shot low. Should be fine. Try to just touch this upfield, but not actually commit myself to it. Just gonna hit it over. It might be a free ball. Nice. Okay, he can stay on that. Just get a little bit of pressure off. Or grab the corner boost. Either way, it's going to be pretty good for us. Ah, close. Could have gotten a 50 there. Alright, I'll get back here. Waiting on Voltero. Hit it over. Watch Kazi's car. He's up for it, I think. Oh, he wasn't. I guess he just fake jumps that. I sh might be getting demoed. Yeah, please go up. No, that's, that's a goal. GG. That's tough. Um, if you guys enjoyed the video, though, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.